This is the second report from our national study of suicide by children and young people. And it builds on the first study published a year ago. Uh, it's a longer time period, two years, uh, a bigger geographical area because it includes Wales, uh, and it expands the age range to people under 25. We obtained information about people who died by suicide from official reports that were prepared uh, after the death, mainly coroner's records, but also uh, social service investigations. And so anything that was important to those uh, inquiries into the death, uh, we would uh, examine uh, and extract uh, and aggregate. Many of our findings confirm what we found last year. Uh, suicide in young people is complex. Uh, there are many uh, stresses and antecedents, and many of them reflect uh, the lives of young people, uh, their family life, uh, their life at uh, school or in higher education, uh, their relationships with uh, parents uh, and friends. Uh, but in addition to confirming those things, uh, we also focused on uh, some additional groups this time. Uh, we've uh, highlighted uh, people who were bereaved uh, before they died. About a quarter uh, of the uh, young people who died had experienced uh, a bereavement. Uh, and in some cases, uh, that bereavement had been a suicide bereavement, the suicide of a parent uh, or a friend. That was particularly the case in the under 20s. Uh, we looked too at uh, students, people in uh, college or university, uh, and we found that they were a little bit different in that the stresses they faced reflected uh, their lives in uh, the academic world. They faced exam stresses, stresses of uh, being in a, uh, an environment away from home. They had fewer of the, the general stresses that people uh, in the rest of the study faced, financial problems, job problems. Uh, we looked too at uh, people who had been uh, looked after children, children who'd been in care. 9% uh, of the under 20 group were people who had been in care at some time. Uh, and for them we found uh, a lot of uh, mental distress in the past, uh, previous self-harm and mental illness, uh, quite a lot of current problems, including housing problems, and a suicide that had occurred despite quite a bit of involvement of multiple agencies. Uh, we looked too at the uh, lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender groups. We found that uh, around 6% of the under 20s who died were in those groups. Uh, they were people who uh, had faced quite a, a lot of mental distress, high rates of self-harm, for example. Um, they did have uh, anxieties about uh, talking about their sexuality to other people. They had, in about a quarter of cases, experienced uh, bullying. Uh, but they uh, certainly were a group who had mental health needs, prominent mental health needs. We also looked at the use of the internet. Uh, the use of the internet before suicide is common, either searching for a suicide method, uh, posting uh, messages with a suicidal content, or being the victim of, uh, of bullying uh, online. Uh, around a quarter of the sample had used the internet in a way that was related to suicide. Uh, 